Hello, I'm Dr. Leah Raleigh, Adjunct Professor of Time Management at QWEST University. Today we're going to talk about the dreaded procrastination. It is something that affects a lot of college students and knowing uh, how to get past that is something that will help you greatly throughout your time in college. The first step to the process of taming the beast is knowing your weakness. How do you procrastinate? Is there a certain thing that you're doing? Are you going on your phone? Are you watching TV? Those items we may be able to use as a reward, which we'll talk about later. So try to figure out, you know, what exactly are the other things that you're doing when you're procrastinating and not doing your work. Um, another thing to think about is, is there a certain time, emotion, place, feeling that is causing you to procrastinate more than others? Is it something that happens maybe when you're more tired? Maybe, you know, walking away, doing a brisk walk, uh, doing some jumping jacks might help you come back and be able to refocus. Um, so try to think about when you're procrastinating, what you're feeling, um, so that you can help identify those triggers. Um, also think about what you have tried in the past to overcome procrastination. Um, figuring out what works best for you to overcome procrastination is going to be a very individualized thing. It's going to take trial and error to figure out um, what methods will work best for you. So if one of them doesn't work, don't get discouraged. It is going to take a couple of tries for you to figure out your key uh, thing that gets you past this. One tip is cleaning your workspace. Um, if you have a cluttered workspace, it could cause you to focus on the other items, maybe on your desk, uh, that are in front of you. So try to keep a minimalist environment that just has the work at hand. It might help you to complete your work if there aren't other things getting in the way. Um, another tip is music. Again, this is very individualized. Um, some people prefer uh, music that they know without lyrics. Some people like classical music, fast-paced music. Um, you could even search for video game music. Um, that is used to make the gamers focus when they're playing the video game. So it might be something that helps you to focus um, while you're doing your work. So any of this is, again, trial and error. Search for different things. You can search for study music um, and figure out what works best for you to help you block out other distractions and keep you focused on your work as well. Um, Another tip is to envision your goals again. Think about what it will feel like to have the degree. Think about what it will mean for you and your family. Um, those are the things that are going to help you keep on track and remember why you're doing this in the first place so that you know the importance of the work that you're doing. Knowing the importance of it is going to make it a little bit easier for you to get it done and knowing you know, what the potential outcomes are and how you're going to feel when you finish it will keep you motivated to keep doing this. Um, keep replaying it in your head. Keep envisioning it as you're going through. It helps you to refocus everything. Lastly, I want to talk about rewards. If you're finding yourself procrastinating a lot, if you're one of those people that you know tends to be drawn to the, your phone and what you're doing on your phone, you know, tell yourself if you work for 20 consecutive minutes, you'll give yourself five minutes to do whatever you want on your phone guilt-free. Um, start small with small time goals. You really don't want to do more than 15, 20 minutes to get started. Um, and then from there, as you start working and start focusing again, it will help you to re energize yourself because you'll just keep going. So if you find yourself working and you're in a nice groove and you don't want to take that five minute break right now, don't. Take a ten minute break later. Um, just keep working to for that snowball effect so it keeps you on task to be able to keep working on that. Um, the rewards are a great way too to reset yourself. So maybe you know you're doing little small consecutive rewards every 20 minutes, every half an hour. But then once you get done with this assignment, you're going to take your kids to the zoo. You're going to go for that walk that you've been waiting for or take a nap. You know, whatever motivates you to do it. Um, that will help you, too, to refocus your mind. You don't want to sit there and, you know, be worried about being burnt out. So after you finish that paper, reward yourself with something really nice um, so that you can relax your brain and enjoy time not doing schoolwork as well. It will remove any guilt from that. So these tips all together, try different things, try little tasks for short periods of time. Um, don't overwhelm yourself and remember why you're doing this. It will help you out through the dreaded procrastination so that you can make it through this assignment, this class, and all of your classes and degree program. Good luck.